Good evening and welcome to NYC Arts. I'm Paula Zahn at the Tisch WNET studios at Lincoln Center. In tonight's profile, we'll look at the ballet world through the eyes of three dancers from American Ballet Theater, Calvin Royal III, Skylar Brandt, and Stella Abrera. Through their experiences, both personal and professional, we get a complete picture of a ballet dancer's life. It takes a lot to make it in the ballet world. The training starts in childhood and continues every day of a dancer's career, a career that is probably the shortest of any profession. Dancers have to be in peak condition all the time. Strength and stamina is required all year long and not just during a performance season. They're not in it for money or fame, but for the love of dancing, for the joy of moving to music. You can see these dancers at the Metropolitan Opera House, where American Ballet Theater is now in its spring season. It began last month with ballets by diverse choreographers, past and present. The season continues through July 2nd and includes full-length classic ballets such as Le Corsair, Swan Lake, Romeo and Juliet, and Sleeping Beauty. Also included is a new full-length ballet, The Golden Cockerel, by Alexei Rachmansky in its American premiere. I discovered ballet actually kind of late. I um, auditioned for Performing Arts High School in St. Petersburg, Florida, and I got accepted into the dance program there and that's when I actually had my very first ballet class. I received the scholarship to move to New York and join the JK school when I was 17. So it was my senior year of high school and um, it was really a shock <laughs> moving to New York and seeing all these dancers that had been studying since they were three or four years old. But I didn't let it get me down because I mean I was in New York and um, at ABT and nothing could really stop me. I, I wanted to, to keep pushing. When I got into the second company, I, <laughs> I almost shocked myself that in a year and a half's time that I was joining ABT as a contracted dancer and that this was actually going to be my, my career. I had the chance to perform and travel. Uh, we toured quite a bit. When you're in the core, it's the largest group within the company, and you are on stage sometimes every night. We usually start our day with a ballet class in the morning as sort of a warm-up, and then go into a rehearsal, you know, five or six hours. And in that time, we're rehearsing ballets that we're performing that week as well as ballets for the next week and the week after and then it's time to get ready for the show in the evenings and get home about quarter to twelve <laughs> at night and get up the next day and do it all over again. It's in the core that you definitely learn how to manage yourself, to keep that motivation going, to find things that will continue to inspire you. There are very few times <laughs> when all is said and done after performance that I, I come back, I'm sitting in my dressing room taking off the makeup and the costume and that I feel like it's done. I did it. It was perfect. <laughs> there are shows where I feel like I gave my all and I gave my best and I have nothing left to give. But for me, the process of, of uh, working on things is, is what keeps me going. It's what, what keeps me interested in, in the work. When I came to my mom and told her at eight years old, I'm going to become a ballerina and this is my career path, she was really taken aback and she went to my ballet teacher and she said, is this a possibility? And he said yes, if she puts her mind to it and works hard, and then she can make it. 
I attended uh, ABT's summer programs and ABT's Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis School. Joining the company, I was really welcomed with open arms. Being in the corps de ballet is so mentally, physically, and emotionally challenging, and it really tests you. I had hoped to get promoted to soloist last year, and so when it happened, it was really impactful for me as a dancer because I knew that I could start to focus on my development as an artist. Alexi's Piano Concerto No. 1 was my first principal role. Alexi is unlike anyone I've ever worked with, truly. He's always going to be wanting more from his dancers, and it dares me to push my limits and further myself as a dancer. I definitely think about who's come before me at ABT and all of the incredible artists and legendary dancers, and we're even taught by some of them. So it's always in the back of my mind, and it's especially apparent when I put on a costume and I see on the name tag Kent or Jaffe, and you think, oh my gosh, I can't believe they were here where I was. That's, that's really encouraging. Um, look at what I can become. The years leading up to my promotion to principal, it was an adventure. <laughs> Learning the ropes in the corps de ballet and becoming a professional, that takes up a good few years. I was promoted to soloist, where you are put more in the spotlight, so to speak, um, with more featured roles. So that's another learning process. And then injury struck and mine was a doozy. It took a good 18 months for me to heal, but actually there was never a time when I wasn't pushing myself and telling myself I, that I was gonna get back on that stage. Yes, a rational mind would have maybe had a plan B, but funnily enough, I think I needed to not have that um, thought in my mind, thought the thought that I should possibly hang them up and try something new. I did not come back to the level in the company that I had been at when I got injured. But at that point, I had been reminded of why I love to dance so much. It was to be the best dancer I could possibly be. Striving to improve my technique every day. I was striving to improve my artistry, work on the characterizations of each role I was challenged with. And in focusing on all of those things, there wasn't room for me to focus on, oh, I hope I can be promoted. I was a soloist for 14 years. I was fine with that. I was happy with focusing on the work. So the, the promotion to principal was huge, huge, huge surprise. And I'm so, I'm still blown away. Such a huge flood of emotions for me when they announced my name with all of my coworkers it was really moving. I love my profession and I love this company just as passionately, if not more, as when I first joined. I remember being in the corps de ballet in Swan Lake, and if you've been dancing your butt off as a swan, and every muscle is cramping, the choreography is that you have to stand in that B-plus position with your arms crossed, your leg propped up behind you, and you stand there still for the whole flight swan pas de deux. That pain is, it's, it's epic. And what got me through that was to look at the little stamp that said ABT on the 
on the scenery right next to where I was. And I was like, that was a reminder of all the years that I had trained to get to that point and that euphoric feeling of being in the company I had dreamed of being in for my whole childhood. That's still in me now when I show up and there's a dressing room that has my name on it. I mean, it's the stuff that little girls dream about and I get to do it. Thank <laughs> you.